What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a fantastic hump day. It is a little bit uh, after 1130 here, almost noon. Uh, and look, the Eagles making some additions. It's it's time. It's it's the season. It's here. I cannot believe that we went behind enemy lines last night. Hopefully you guys got to check that video out. But we're here talking about, you know, the practice squad additions, all these great things. We're going to talk about who the Eagles are protecting on their practice squad, all those moves that are being made. It just it feels good to be back. You know, we've been going through the entire offseason together, but it's finally time for football. That gets me a little bit excited here. So very pumped up about it. But the Eagles continue to fine tune their roster. And we talk about even the little things matter and the practice squad matters. And, you know, we talked about Reed Sinet. We talked about, you know, LaMichael P. Ryan being added. But then right after that, Book and Sermon got added. So guys that are were expendable. So we added some guys. Some guys were expendable. So let's talk about We're going to get into the practice squad moves that were made today. Going to talk a little bit about the additions. Uh, but someone's uh, hero out there was let go today. Uh, so sorry to let you down. But uh, appreciate you guys taking the time. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to throw them my way. Appreciate you guys hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, turning that notification bell on today. We'll be doing the first injury report at four o'clock. The injury report is due. So I'll be back tonight. We'll be talking about that. Uh, see how Josh Job, Josiah Scott, how those guys are holding up and everybody else. So, yeah. And uh, I'm going to make a little video then talking about Jason Kelsey. But, uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. My man Mitch in the building. What is going on, dude? Let's go, birds. Hope you're doing well, my man. But let's talk about these moves. You know, we had to let go of a couple guys to be able to add the moves we did. So, the Michael P. Ryan let go. And Reed Sinet, again, adding Ian Book, adding Trey Sermon, you know, as the third quarterback and fourth running back, respectively. That kind of pushed these guys out the door. So we found use for, you know, what looks to be uh, a tight end. And yes, Auden Tate is a wide receiver, but it looks like the Eagles could try to cross train this dude as they have done so many times. Big dude, Tyree Jackson on the pup list right now. So, Hey, you never know kicking the tires on some of these guys. So they release two, add two, and I'll show you here at the end uh, the full list of the practice squad. But let's talk about these players here. So Auden Tate, he's been playing for a few years, a draft pick in 2018, um, I think seventh rounder. And, you know, I think this kid, obviously a big body dude, like six foot five. I think he's like six, four and seven, eight, something like that. But, you know, he's a big dude. Uh, so that's one of the things where you see, in the ever-changing NFL, you can use these hybrid, you know, F-type tight ends where, you know, they're going out there like Grant Calcaterra, not the greatest. Grant Calcaterra, I think, can block. This kid would definitely need to bulk up a little bit, do some things. So let's take a look at what he's been able to do in his career here. You know, 6'5", 228. He's only 25 years old. He's got some experience, but, yeah, seventh rounder in 2018 out of Florida State. And he started 12 games, played in 35 Almost 800 yards there, two touchdowns. So he hasn't had the most playing time out here, and that's okay because, you know, we understand that he's a death piece. This dude is on the practice squad. This is just kicking the tires on somebody, and he's on the practice squad again. So we've got Noah togi eyed there. And then when it comes to the receivers, you know, you've got Covey, Allen, and Kane there. So he pushes the competition at both positions. We'll see. The Eagles will see what he's good at, what they can do, and then they'll decide from there what they want to do with him. But obviously yesterday, having him in for a tryout, we talked about, you know, they liked what they saw. So they're going to try some things. Again, it's the practice squad, so nothing to stress there. Nina, what is going on? Hope your day is going well. I was actually at the doctor's office when all this news started dropping. I'm like, you son of a, but luckily, you know, I have to keep getting a million things done. So I always have time to wait. So I was sitting there trying to get graphics and stuff ready, but uh, glad to be home. Glad to be talking about this. I hope you are doing well. Appreciate you taking the time. Just wanted to talk about these uh, moves briefly, but Auden Tate, you know, he adds to this room and you know, the kid has talent. I really liked him at Florida state. And I think, you know, why not at this point? He's 25 years old. And again, you know, we saw what we were able to find in Tyree Jackson and he won't be back till at least week five. So this doesn't hurt anything again, practice squad. So let's keep it moving on to the next edition, Dalton Keen. And we talked again, briefly, very briefly last night about these guys. And I had mentioned, you know, a third round pick from the Patriots a couple years ago, ended up on IR last year, but 
You know, this is somebody when we talk about Jack Stoll, um, we talked about, you know, having that H back role. Well, Dalton Keen is that guy, your Swiss army knife, the Jack of all trades kind of dude. You can line him up as a fullback, but I don't really see him as an inline blocker uh, in open space. He blocks. Well, uh, he definitely is somebody that intrigued me before the 2020 draft. And I think, you know, having that versatility, you know, having that role, we have Jack Stoll. Okay. Remember we talked about Jack Stoll is your H back. You talk about your F type tight end and Grant Calcaterra. So you just added two guys to the practice squad that can back them up essentially. So you always want to have a plan in place were anything to happen, you know, and Tyree Jackson again on the pup list, no Togi eyes there. I do like him, but now you have options, you know? So I love having versatile tight ends. It's not just receivers and linemen and the defensive linemen and the secondary. There's versatility to go around, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the name of the game here. And that is what this kid brings to the table. Pretty much what Jack Stoll does. And to be honest with you, you guys know I'm a big fan of Jack Stoll. But I think that Dalton Keene might be a little bit more talented. Now we'll see how he comes back from this injury and we'll see if he stays healthy. But again, He's on the practice squad, so he gets a chance to compete, uh, you know, throughout the week with these guys, and maybe he could show uh, Nick Sirianni and the guys that he belongs on this roster. I have no idea. Again, practice squad. So six foot four, two hundred fifty one pounds, a little bit beefier there. Twenty three years old. Uh, again, he only has one year experience because he didn't play last year. That's not supposed to say twenty eighteen. Supposed to say twenty twenty, but that is what it is. So three catches, sixteen yards, five point three. Again, I did this in the hospital, so sorry if I messed some of this stuff up. But uh, uh, you can always count on me to mess something up. But I will never misinform you or misguide you. But I will definitely misspell or do something stupid there. But uh, look, um, again, not many stats in the NFL, but did well at Virginia Tech. I like the kid. Uh, so we'll see what he can do on the practice squad. Now, speaking of that practice squad, let's take a gander at the full list here of participants. And we're still at 10 on the offensive side of the ball and seven on the defense. And we get to keep that extra player because of the international player program exemption for Matt Leo. So let's take a gander at this practice squad. You see, again, we had mentioned Allen, Kane, and Covey there as wide receivers. Now you add Auden Tate. We'll see if we can switch them up to tight end or what we're doing. But you've got Togi Eye and Keen there as tight ends now. Got offensive linemen, the Raven Clark and Cameron Tom. And then my guy, Coyote Hawasika. I really think this is the guy maybe you could bring up on game day just in case. Uh, but again, maybe it's the Raven Clark. I know that's what a lot of the media is saying, but we shall see. Kennedy Brooks there. So that was why the Michael P. Ryan was expendable. I guess they liked what they saw from Brooks this offseason more than they what they did from P. Ryan the last few days. So I, I, I don't know. I thought he would have been better than Brooks, but. Maybe they like the upside of Brooks. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, we still have Sasha Ray, Ellis, Goodrich. And then you remember the other day, we switched Harris out for Mac McCain the third. And you've got Davey and Taylor there and Marvin Wilson. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, your Eagles practice squad. But uh, that's all the news I've got for you right now. I'll be back in a little bit with some more news, actually. And then later today, we'll be talking about the injury report. But until then, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. If you need anything, you want to talk about birds, life, whatever it is, always here for you guys as you are me. I appreciate you. And if you need anything, seriously, reach out. But if you got anything from this, do me a favor, hit that like button. You can always subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on and join me because today we're going to have a couple videos. So going to be a wild one. Hope to talk to you then. But stay safe out there. And as always... Come on!